also warning about a slowing worldwide economy. The U.S.-China trade war not helping matters. And Harvard University economist Carmen Reinhart told Bloomberg that the unrest in Hong Kong could trigger a global recession. Let's see if Riley Walters, Asian analyst of the Heritage Foundation, agrees. Riley, is Hong Kong the tipping point for a global recession? I mean, it's no surprise that, you know, regional and global economies are slowing down right now. Whether Hong Kong could be uh, the tipping point, I think, is a huge what if. There's a lot of what ifs going around around Hong Kong right now. What if mainland China invades? What if protests continue for another year? A lot of what ifs. But, uh, you know, if we just look at the data, it is, we are seeing a, a global slowdown right now. I think a lot of that actually hinges on the U.S. economy and what we are doing at home. Um, okay, but our data has been relatively positive, at least as it relates to the consumer. Um, but yet this backdrop, and you were talking about all the, the what-ifs in, in, in Hong Kong, but you have to admit that what's going on for three months now in Hong Kong is a bad look for Beijing. And how they respond, could that not affect any trade deal with the U.S.? I think the White House is going to try and separate any trade deal from the talks. Now, I mean, uh, in, in actuality, yes. Uh, when it comes to rhetoric and tweets, yeah, they, they, they tend to combine these things, and it doesn't really help. Uh, but certainly, you know, as we progress with trade talks, they're not going to talk about Hong Kong, the future of Hong Kong, because it's not really their place. Now, if things escalate in Hong Kong, that will have an effect on trade talks. But I'm not saying that they're going to try and combine the two. It's like saying, uh, you know, we're going to negotiate our national security mm -hmm. concerns away with our trade concerns. It's, it's just not realistic. Um, but, you know, looking back at what the effect it is having on the U.S. economy right. and how that uh, applies, certainly, you know, the Congressional Budget Office just came out with this report saying that tariffs are harming the U.S. economy. It's a cost well, of uh, $600 a year for the U.S. families. Yeah, and they're hurting the Chinese economy. Bloomberg uh, out yeah. with the survey, and they found that, you know, if they're there is retaliation next month by Beijing when we slap uh, import tariffs on Chinese products. That could push the Chinese economy to grow under 6%. I know that's a big number, but it's the weakest growth there in 30 years. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, they, they've been growing, uh, they've been trending that way for a long time. And there's, I think there's a lot of questions about whether they actually are trending at 6% anyway. Right. Um, but yeah, of course. I mean, tariffs hurt everyone. I mean, they hurt us when we apply them, and when the Chinese apply their own, it hurts them. So, so uh, sh sh Riley, not to interrupt you, I just want to get a lot in. So yeah. what could a trade, uh, an immediate trade deal with China, what could that look like? I think, uh, well, what it could look like is, uh, is a big question. I think what the effect could have, though, is be very positive for both our economies, both very positive around, uh, you know, this growing sentiment, this growing uncertainty that's been building over the last yeah. two years that's been having a negative effect on both of our economies. I know. So, we, we, which yeah. makes me wonder if we should just sign or agree to something and, and then figure it out from there. Anyway, Riley Walters, thank you for your time. Thank you.